Hello everyone, so welcome back to Mass Builder yet again. We're going to be trying to build some more Gundam frames here. And uh, people have been setting me a couple of builds to do. I saw it in, uh, in previous episodes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get something else done here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by spray painting everything here. So we'll, we'll do everything in white. And then we'll come back to the uh, the initial parts and we'll edit those. I'm sure I'll probably need to repeat myself at some point. But we'll, uh, we'll just push on here. So I've got a couple of builds that I've wanted to do today. Let's see if we can make this like two or three builds per stream. That'd be really cool. So what we'll do is we'll just, I, I hope, Familiar, if you end up watching this again, I hope you honestly do something where you can just make all of the uh, the parts Unless I don't know how to use this properly still I hope you do one where you can just make all the parts a base color that you select so that we can Do something like this without having to go through everything and uh, Customize it like this. It would just make everything a lot easier So Let's go ahead here and Make sure I mirror things so that I'm not messing this up. Did I? Oh, that was the uh, front section. Can we just get rid of Death Scythe here? We did Death Scythe and the two Astray frames last time. I mean, I suppose I could do another Astray frame. And I've already got one on the on the cards today that's kind of an Astray frame. So we'll uh, we'll do that and then we'll get the other stuff done. We got the paint job here going on okay for the moment. Just doing everything white. I just thought of another one I could actually try here for a, uh, a build. Right, so let's go through here. Keep selecting everything. I think I will do the uh, the easiest build first. Let's uh, just try and pull it up on Google so at least I know what I'm looking at. This is the thing with this is I always have to get the reference first now because of me using more than two screens to do this. Hello to everyone that's watching, by the way. I hope you're enjoying for the moment. Just making up another unit here. Usual build stream where we go ahead, we build up a suit, and then we test it out in game and see how close it is to the uh, original that it's based off. Love the way that Siri was reacting there. Right. I'm just gonna react to a message here at the same time. Oh, mirror that. So we've got everything apart from the uh, the front of the toe caps here done. Let's just mirror that. Okay. So I've finished dealing with stuff, let's go ahead here and see if I can do this frame. So we're going to go ahead, come out of here for a moment, we're going to design the uh, the armor on top of it, and then we'll go ahead and actually mess around with the full thing and get all the uh, parts accurate. trying to have a look here and see if I can get this even remotely looking like what I want it to. I think I should use that one. I might have the, uh, the thinner armor parts here for this just because of how it matches up with what I want. And then we've got the 
pull section. I think I might actually change that up a little bit because we've got some of the inner frame showing through there. Might be able to work that out. People might not like that, but we'll uh, we'll see about this. Try that one because this is a relatively easy build so I'm gonna keep that backpack just because of the way that it is if I can just get like a slimmer section here that would be really nice even that that might be better right let's see we gotta do the skirts front skirts here let's try that one because I can get away with that side skirts these are actually a little bit bulkier so I can get away with something like that or like that maybe like that this will be a, uh, a big guess for everybody that's watching as to what I'm building at the moment need this painted or done the other way painted what am I on about the rear rear armor here is a bit crazy I don't want to go too crazy with that I think I can get away with that on both sides the arm unit let's see here Let's see what I can get away with here. That might be okay for both sides. Arm armor. A bit more blocky here. We'll try that. Hello to everyone in chat at the moment. The ends of the arms actually don't look too bad, although I can go with something a little bit different. That might work parts those have to be different okay, so let's let's try that for the knees because I've not used these knee parts yet so this is gonna be interesting the armor on the legs is gonna have to be that one and then the ankle armor sl slightly thicker with what I'm going for here let's that's a bit too big we'll have to keep that hopefully that's the same yeah it is the uh, the rear armor has to be pretty big for this suit and the front needs to be a little bit big as well not too big that's like crazy big though We'll, uh, we'll take that. Right. And then, this is where the good bit comes in. Ain't over. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll go ahead here and we'll adjust some of the, some of the size here. Not really the neck. The shoulders. The, the hips are fine. Lower arms need to be slightly out here. I like the way that you can expose parts of the inner frame by doing that. The upper legs. And the lower legs as well. We'll, uh, we'll give it a bit more height than it had previously. Upper arms. RNG was on my side last night, says Nova. Nice. Okay, so we've, we've edited things a little bit. And hopefully we can get away with this here. So it's not all like that. Can I change the uh, the hands here? No, I can't. Okay, so that's something that you can't really do. I'm gonna have to see if I can emulate this throughout the uh, the entire thing. Try gunmetal for that. 
but then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll try doing this and see if it works for a laugh. Okay, so we got the faceplate, which is fine. The goatee, which is red. Actually, instead of doing chrome red, though, we'll try that nice metallic red. And then the eyes, we want green. So far, the options on this look really neat. If they keep adding to it, it'll have potential, says Nova. Exactly, that's why I'm enjoying it loads at the moment, because just messing around like this is still fun, so... Let's put... No one gold on there. This is going to be, like, really crazy. I'll just go with base metal here. And then we'll see if we can make this how I want while there's all kinds going off in the background. But normally the vents on the front are sort of the same gold. So we'll do that. Ion says, is that the unicorn? Dude, that was a really quick guess. I was leaving it just to see what people would say and, and sure enough Ion comes in and bang unicorn immediately. Let, let's see if we can actually make the unicorn. People quick on the uh, on the ball today. I'm trying to see how much of this I can get away with making the psycho frame. Tiberius says I saw this on Kickstarter. Nice. Let's see if we can do the inner frame in the, uh, the shiny red. Because I, I was actually worried about this not working before. Uh, most of this is going to stay the same by the look of it. I was going to make a small antenna joke when I noticed it says Nova. Oh, whoa, whoa. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. That's because I, I selected one and four. We'll do the... Um, We'll do that there. I'm trying to make the psycho frame in this chrome color. I'm looking at the uh, the pictures here now that I've got at the side of me from uh, Google to, to know exactly how I'm doing with the accuracy. Keith says, hey man, it's been a while. How have you been? I'm good, I'm good. Now remember, part of the backpack for the Unicorns Destroy mode was, uh, or had, Psycho Frame poking through, so we'll make that the, uh, the vents and the thrusters, I think? Actually, no, not the thrusters, just the vents. It's cool, because I can just change all of this to green as well if I want, like, try and do a chrome green. That would, that would make everything stand out. Make it blue for perfectibility, the full armor burning. Oh yeah, the uh, the Plan B unicorn that everybody's been on about recently. I, uh, I've seen it. I saw like a, an animated version of it on YouTube. And uh, it looks pretty crazy. It's like the way that this is all like repaints of, uh, of the armor that they've given us at the beginning. But it's still good enough that I'm managing to come out with things like this. Talking to the devs about this, and oof, it's going to be epic, says Keith. Yeah, we've been talking to the, the devs the other day on stream. It was really cool. I'm actually glad that they came in. It'd be cool if they came in again. I'm trying to just make Psycho Frame po poke all the way through this. The thing is, I have never really paid attention to the, uh, the rear skirt of the, uh, the unicorn here. To figure out what's going to poke through and what's not. So we'll just do something like that yeah the devs are a bunch of good guys they definitely seem it anyway by the way that this is actually looking pretty accurate this is just good this is just good testing it and seeing what actually looks accurate and what doesn't 
And this is very similar to the, the red and blue frame that I did. But all I'm doing is just like not poking so many holes through the uh, the machine. Now if I remember rightly, it doesn't really have any uh, any part of the elbow cover where it's got psycho frame poking through, but we'll we'll just do a little bit of custom stuff here. The arm, I'm gonna need number two showing, maybe number four. I'm actually liking this at the moment. I tried getting this accurate as possible. The hand cover is white. Uh, I'll be taking pictures of this again, by the way. So if you see any like sections of the screen going black at any point, then you know that I'm doing uh, screenshots just so I can save sections. Right, number f number one, and I don't know, not number four. Although if I just if I take number four on its own, maybe instead of number one, if I take number four and do that. That kind of looks good. I'm, I'm gonna do it like that just because of the way that the rest of it reacts. Right, then we got the back here. Again, it's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna have to kind of select tiny parts to show off the inner frame and just see whether it works. Uh, it's looking, looking not too bad at the moment. See, yeah, I love doing these build streams where I can just do stuff like this while you guys chill out with me because it's always fun just to see if people guess the suit right. Let's leave that little bit of white there. And then it's it's like a navy blue, isn't it? Or a dark blue. Or like, not camo. I didn't actually realize they had camo in here. That's cool. It's kind of like that for the feet. Let's make it a gloss instead. I know it's more like a black, but... Let's see how that looks, like with the full thing on display. Okay, what do you guys think? Change the uh, the feet to black or what? Because I'm actually thinking that myself. I'm gonna do it. All we'll do is we'll do gold metal here. That should do. Looks a little bit better. Those feet are mostly like a grayish blue. Yeah, I noticed that myself. And then when I looked back at it, I was like, mm -hmm. black should do. Let's let's just get a uh, screenshot of this. I dubbed this the Gundam game every Gundam fan didn't want but needed. Yeah, especially after Gundam Breaker. If you see the screen going black at any point in time, that's just because I'm taking screenshots. I like taking screenshots from this just so because we can't save suits otherwise I'd have just a huge library of suits made up like Gundams because we can't do that I've got to kind of just grab as many screenshots as possible now we'll try oh I forgot I forgot with the backpacks I can try doing the uh, the full armor hang on where is it assemble there we go we can try doing the full armor here hang on Not sure what what's gonna look cooler. I'm gonna do that one, and then we'll. Uh, oh, hello, the uh, tablet that I'm using to look at things. Hey, Vermillion! I see a narrative Gundam. We can't stay tonight, but we hope you have fun. Nah, this one's the full armor. But nice to see you back, Vermillion. We'll be doing a lot more stuff in future, like we said. I do want to do the narrative now, though. <laughs> narrative is a uh, another one that I'm gonna try at some point. Right, so we got the uh, the boosters here. I'm gonna try and separate this color-wise. 
Uh, let's see. Can make it like a uh, gun metal there. I haven't watched Narrative. How is it? I've not watched it either, but it's coming out on the 24th of this month, I think? On Blu-ray and DVD. I actually want to get it. Let's try and separate some of these colors here by making slightly darker, like a cream color there. We'll, we'll take the full armor out for a spin. What we'll do is we'll do the weapons tuning. Pilot it, Moody. I'll give you a harrow that constantly calls you banana. <laughs> so here we go. We've got the, a choice of weapons here that the uh, we know the full armor unicorn has. We'll go with the the glaive that we had the last time, and we'll mess around with the grip here because we want the uh, the beam javelin. So I mean, I do want to go with like this really fancy looking thing, but let's see if we can. It would just be the top here, and then we can just take that out. Excuse the uh, the craziness going on in the background there. Let's take that for a spin, and uh, and then as well we've got the dual Gatlings here. So we've got no, we've got like three different Gatlings. So one, two, three, right. And then we go socket. Instead of barrel, we got another Gatling. So there is there is always room for another Gatling here at this point. Okay, so three Gatling guns, and then a load of different missile pods. And we got the beam magnum, so we need to put the beam magnum on and respray that. And then we've got. An absolute ton of missile pods. We got like a couple of missile pods on the the top, and then the grenades, and then orbit weapons as well. Oh god! Let, let's just have like one set of orbit weapons here, and we'll uh, we'll start trying to do this stuff now, and uh, and see how this goes. Right. So, get really creative here. <laughs> First off, we'll do this in like a all gray gun metal. Fine. And then we'll we'll paint parts of this up. Like white just to make it a little bit different. Then we gotta go up here. We'll paint all of this in white and then we'll do the uh, the beam sections. So that and that are gonna need to be in that kind of crazy pink that the beams are in. Either pink or purple. Let's see if we can get this looking remotely right, otherwise I might have to, looks like I might have to do it in red. I'm gonna have to edit these colors, like, if I, can I, if I do custom style one here, and then edit style, I just kind of have that as that really light colored beam there, yeah, that'll do. Then we've got the Gatlings, which are all kind of this gunmetal grey. Let's let's try and separate some of these parts a little bit so they don't look as dull. So we'll put that as like not titanium. Let's try grey metal there. Keith says, I'm glad I'm entertaining you guys. I like the way that the devs actually come in to uh, support the stream and stuff, it, and obviously to talk to people, it is really nice of them to do, and they, they go out of the way to do it, even though they don't have to. I just realized I have uh, missed the barrel there. Is that not in Gunmetal Black, the... Uh... No, it isn't. But yeah, I uh, absolutely love devs that do that just because it shows they they actively want to interact with the community and not so much support it, but definitely get feedback and try and produce something good. So I really like that. 
always good to see a dev that will pay attention to people that are providing some good feedback while also playing a demo. Right, let's see here. Almost done with these. They've been talking to me on Twitter, says Keith. Makes one to invest in their games. Dev that's active on Twitter is really good because it means that they want to engage for more ideas. Devs don't really do that. That's why it's refreshing to see, says Tiberius. Yes. I mean, why not? You're building a game for somebody. You want a little bit of feedback. Best thing to do is talk to the people that are actively playing your game. Just to see if there's anything that you can do or improve upon. Let's see here. Need to do the, uh, the barrel. I'll do the barrel in like uh, is it gun metal. So there's the magnum. There's the beam magnum. Uh, and then we've got the, the missile pods. These missile pods, there's going to be loads of them here. I've got to do them in this kind of black color and then have red for the uh, the missile pods. Well, red for the tops. So we'll, we'll do it in like metallic red so that they show up. And then we'll do the same with these other bits. But I need to mess around with some of the other stuff. So we'll, we'll do a couple of different ones. Keith says, you'll find the Kickstarter devs are usually good at chatting. I talked to a few of them. That reminds me. In the description later on, you guys will find all the stuff related to the Kickstarter. So if anybody doesn't know about this game yet and wants to support it, then by all means, there will be links that will allow you to, uh, to go ahead and take a look at it. I'm going to add some more of these type because I actually like the look of the uh, the other type here. There we go. So we got all of that. And then the last one here. I'm going to do this like a white metal and try and do psycho frame and have these as... Uh, like a stand-in for the shield bits. You know, you really got to use your imagination at this point for it, but... Tamiri says, Yeah, usually devs from bigger, out-of-touch companies that don't communicate openly, mostly they're just behind the times. Uh, some of them just generally don't think too much about social media, I think. You know, they don't understand that you can actually get a large audience from social media. Try custom style 2 here, and then when we select that style, we'll go ahead and make it the red, and we'll put the, uh, the gloss and everything. There we go. Oh. The other one needs to be white here. We'll leave the. Uh... Actually, we'll do the thruster in that as well, and then the uh... the other parts here we'll do as well. And that kind of psycho frame color. So now, if we can only make a transformable suit, I can do the H two or double or Zeta. We can still get him in here. You know, let's, let's try this out, right? I just realized I've done it. I need to do a new screen there. Like I said before, if you see the screen going black for a little bit, I am just taking a bunch of screenshots. Well, let's take this unicorn out for a spin. It actually does look pretty cool. <laughs> it's the first time I've selected this backpack as well. Gotta use your imagination for this kind of thing. Oh, 
a bit too close to the microphone there. Gotta use your imagination for this type of thing, but it does look pretty cool. Mission start. Oh. I do like the way the uh, the suit looks. Just the part separation. Oh, it was cool. I, I wasn't so sure about using that new four, so but it seems to have worked. So we got all the uh, the missile pods over the top. We got the giant beam javelin, which I wish they could make like beam weapons at the moment because all they've got is like physical weapons. Hoping if the devs see this eventually, they'll. Uh, They'll look in something like that. Because beam weapons would be really cool. Thing is, I'm going to also use this backpack for the, the Zeta, probably. So, uh, not the Zeta, the, uh, the double Zeta. How well can the RX-78-2 be done? Uh... Probably. I mean, I've managed the unicorns and everything so far with just the, uh, the standard horns, so... I just realized I am not locking on the targets here. So can we just... There we go, we got the... Uh... We got the orbital weapons attacking him there. I'm gonna actually use the, uh... the other stuff that I've got here in my disposal. So that's one. That's two. It'd be interesting to try and do like a real challenge, like make one of the uh, the narrative gun like the A packs. That would be crazy trying to do that. Wait, can we just multi-target here with these missiles? There we go. I realize I'm running out of fuel quite quickly here. Okay, we got the Gatling still that we haven't used, so let's try that. Oh, out of Gatling ammo, so we'll use one of the other ones. Then we'll switch back to Beam Javelin and have a laugh. You gotta take out this guy as well. Jeez, the frame rate. Sometimes it tanks. I'm not quite sure why it tanks. I know they said for this there wasn't any like major optimization. The easiest reskin for this would be if I added even the. Uh, Green or the blue psycho frame variant. Thing is, you can also easily get away with just switching out the white for like a dark blue or black and just making it the banshee. Or even going gold to do the Fenix. Like, might be an idea to do the Fenix as well. This guy's gonna get a headache. There we go. So, full armor unicorn looking good, and it's normal destroy mode. We got about six seconds left. Let's see if we can get a uh, good shot of it. Ah, there we go. The sound could use improvements, says Raffle. I know, right? They're all placeholders at the moment, the devs have said. So, what can we do? You know, we got to deal with it. Still fun to play though. Tiberius says, I'd say it's a successful recreation. Like, let's see. This is gonna be more about the paint job than anything else. I wanna see whether I can get the, um, the gold color done here. Can we? What was it? If I can get the gold done, then we can do the, uh, the Fenix to celebrate MT when it comes out. I'm just trying to decide on which. Parts should and shouldn't be 
gold. The the, the front vas uh, the front mouthpiece I think is let's hang on. Let's try uh Okay, just getting reference images here so I don't completely mess this up. Let's get the biggest reference image up here. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to get custom 7 here. And then we'll try going as, as gold as I can. That looks pretty gold. Why did it change chrome red to... God damn it. Hang on. That's going to be blue anyway, but I actually want to keep it chrome red for now. Right. Select the style. Style 7. Selected, right? Edit style. It says chrome red though. Why? Uh, chrome... Ah, oh, there we go. Chrome gold. This is one thing I've never been able to to get into with this was the uh, the custom stuff. Why is it still messing around with that? Like it's not giving me. The option to save that, that is a problem. Right, I've saved style seven as chrome gold. There we go. Style 8, that can be uh, chrome blue. Next thing, you should make the FA78. If there are enough pieces, you can try it. Right, so now we've got, hopefully... God damn it, that didn't save for some reason. Chrome blue. I wonder whether there's problems with this or not. Let's, let's just stick it there for the moment. And go. There we go. Right, so chrome gold. We, we can now actually do chrome gold. Finally. Let's, let's kind of put it like that and save it. And then... Yep. And then chrome blue. For the shiny. Because this is going to be super shiny. The Fenex has kind of like this radiant blue. About there. Okay. So now what we do is we take the some of the inner frame parts and we make those blue. So this is going to be like a really simple reskin. Hopefully, it's going to be cool. So that one needs to be chrome gold, and the chin needs to be chrome blue. This is where everything's just going to be shiny as hell. Uh, the eyes on the Fenix are slightly different, so we'll just make them gold. Well, actually, no, we'll do them custom orange, right? And the rest of the helmet. That needs to be blue. Rest of it, gold. This is going to be super shiny. This is the first shiny suit that I'm doing. I actually wanted to do the Akatsuki for the uh, the first shiny suit that I was going to do. But, oh wait, I remember that's, that's, not that. that's custom orange. Because of the way the Fenix is. We'll also have to take the backpack off because the backpack is different. Gotta dip nip out to work. Have fun moods and chats, Sister Tiberius. Thank you very much, Tiberius. Thanks for joining in. Right, so we need one. I think it's one. You have one, three, and four to be in the chrome blue. And two to be in chrome gold. This is this is looking pretty crazy at the moment and shiny. One, two, and three in gold. Four in blue. That stays mostly the same. Apart from these sections. Such a shiny boy. Right, let's see here. Armor. 
that pack. We've got the uh, the two huge packs at the back, but I can either I can either do that and go without destroy mode or what? I can even just do that way. I think because of the way the FedEx is. Maybe I should go with that instead. Are there any options for mono who I slash grunt style mech says he talk? Don't think there is at the moment, which is unfortunate, but I'll have to have a look in a little bit. Let's try and get this looking like the uh, the armed armor DEs that are on the back of the Fenix. So we got those two parts I think will be blue, and those two parts will be blue. Gotta use some imagination for this, but. working so far. It's like the easiest respray ever. Hey Sky Reaper, nice to see you again. I wonder how the game's gonna handle this with all the shiny surface materials. I heard about this game too, not sure, sure what to make of it myself to share it says Sky Reaper. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it loads just because of the uh the freedom for customization that it's got. It's pretty in depth based off like real grade Gundam kits and stuff. I'm really enjoying how much I can get into this. The more I experiment with this as well, the better it gets. Like this is just crazy at the moment. Right, so I need that and that to be blue, and then two and three to be gold. Oh, gold, not blue. What platform is this again? PC. PC only for the moment. Number four is that. So the rest is gold, and that little bit is blue. Oh, he's a shiny boy. You can see all the lights on him and everything when you... Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a lens flare. There's a lens flare straight in the camera. Two and four here need to be blue. I don't know why it's it's leaving some of those parts white. I think that might be a bug. I just realized I've not mirrored the uh, the leg over there. These parts need to be blue, and then two and three can be gold. Mirror that section. That's one more weapon to use against the enemy. You can make the Krilling Gundam Span Solar Flare. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. Three. Oh, I see. Three is that small bit at the top. Number four. You've already got the colors right. Ah, I see what you mean. It's not exactly orange. You can make mirror changes. Absolute game changes, says Kaiser. Yeah, you mess around with the surface gloss and everything and you can get really shiny effects. This is how I've been doing like the red frame and stuff. So, we're going to finish off the Phoenix here. We've already done the, uh, the full armor unicorn for anybody that's coming in.
and then the feet are dark blue. I don't really have a dark blue properly, so I'm just gonna have to go with that one. That one might actually work now because of the, the way the Fenix is. Let's just do it all dark blue for the moment and then we can go over it with gold. Oh, I got cancelled. Select style, chrome, then we mirror that, and then we exit. Oh, he's a shiny boy. Let's let's print screen that for the moment. And then we'll print screen the full thing. I see the the elbow there on one side is messed up. Is that the elbow? There we go. We'll just we'll just say that never happened, right? It never happened because we couldn't see it on the main screen. Um, weapons. It's got all the same weapons as the uh, the unicorn. The only difference is the color. So we'll just go paint here. We'll just select this and ah, oh, the weapons use different color stylings. I'm gonna have to edit this and we'll, we'll go ahead and give it the, the gold look. Oh, crap. Can we edit style? Style 2. There we go. Hey Moody, did you see Genlock yet? Yeah. I uh, I saw the first little bit of it and then I uh, I promptly stayed away from the rest. Although I do want to make one of the, the Genlock colons in this. It's uh. I don't know, it's it's not red versus blue in the early days. I'm kind of upset by that, because I, I love RVB. Or I, I love what it used to be. I just realized it doesn't have the uh, exact same weapons, so we'll, we'll just go off a couple of what we had here. So number one, Number. They need to be gold. Edit style. Style 2. I see you're stuck with Rooster Teeth being one thing, says Sky Reaper. Nah, it's just. I don't know. I liked Rooster Teeth back in the day when they did just red versus blue and didn't really get too involved with anything else and then as they branch out I don't know I just it puts me off them a little bit more I feel like they're going into territories that you know I just I don't agree with so I just stay out of it I, I mean I could get into that as a, a complete other talk but it'd be, uh, be a little bit depressing Genlock was okay I feel like I've I've seen just uh, stuff by Eruption Fang, so I know what's happened in it. And like when I watched the first couple of episodes, because that's all I've watched from it properly, I uh, I didn't really like it. I just it was it was sad for me because it's like they didn't explain too much of it, so just kind of left it at that. Yeah. It's like, if you'd have asked me, like, up until about 2013, what what did I think about, like, Rooster Teeth and stuff, I would have been all over and fanboying them, but... It's like, I still were, but, like, because I have a load of apparel from when they first started the RT store. So, uh, I still wear that on an almost daily basis, but that is, like, me fanboying about the old days. It's not so much that I... I don't like the new stuff that they did, because I'm definitely behind Ruby. I have, like, a shrine for that in the living room. But, uh, again, like with everybody else, it's one of those things where Ruby kind of went downhill after a certain point, and I, uh, I don't like to think about it after that. Oh, boy! Is there any PvP in this game? Uh, yeah, there's going to be PvP, according to the devs, and there's also going to be uh, Hollands versus uh, other Hollands. I just realized, why doesn't this pack have the uh, the boost sound effect? Or the actual effect? It might not be added. 
Ruby kind of died with Monty. Yes, it did. Unfortunately. I just feel like, like to, to put it in perspective, the uh, the best way possible. Uh, I feel like with with Rooster Teeth, as they started growing more popular, they started getting, especially like on the podcast, because I, I used to watch the podcast a lot. They started getting very political, and I like companies that kind of stay out of that kind of thing, because especially with video game media, it's not really relevant. And when they started kind of doing all of that, that's when I kind of moved away from them. You know, so... I'm more into Mega64 now, just because they don't do that kind of thing. And as... As a result, they are a lot funnier. Let's try and auto-target everything here, and then we'll just... Come on. Just getting stuck in here is the, uh, oh crap, the Fenix. I just realized that might not have locked on to anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do like the way we can get multi missile stuff going here. Really good. And then we just got the, I think it's just the boss left. You're gonna take my leaves, says Ion. I'll see you later, Ion. There we go. Let's see if we can get a good screenshot of this at the end, like firing missiles or something. That'd be really cool. I still don't understand why this hasn't got the, the boosting effect on it, but... Right, wait for it, wait for it. Now! Oh no, I messed it! I messed it up! I was too early, I was trying to get a, uh, a picture at the end there of the Fenex firing all of its missiles. Didn't work. But yeah, that was, that was the Fenex. So now we'll try... Somebody asked me... Can you try doing stuff that isn't symmetrical? And they, they give me a challenge the other day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and redo the frame completely. As in like do the uh, the paint first. And then we'll select the different styles and we'll see if you guys can figure out what I'm doing here. Cause that was something we did the other day which was messing around and trying to see whether you guys could guess what I was building. Going off colour schemes and frame parts and really trying to use our imagination to come up with different frames. Just gotta do all this in white again now as a result. Let's take off all the uh, the gold here. So much shiny gold. Also, I'm gonna be replacing parts at some point, so. The only thing I've found um, that's off putting about this game so far is the apparent lack of weight to it. I have a feeling, like, when you look at the, the skill tree system in this for development, it does make hints at different stats like weight and other things. I'm actually hoping that they'll include that at a later date. Doesn't feel like giant robots, but I enjoyed Breaker 3 and there's no limit to the, the mechs in that, so... Yeah, yeah. Definitely no weight in Breaker 3. Considering some of the mechs in that are pretty damn huge. What I'll do is I'll mirror all the uh, the part styles in a little bit. What I'm trying to do is make it like a, uh, every stream I do about three builds. That way we can get a lot of styles done. 
just realized I need to mirror some of these. We've done that. So now we do the uh, the shoulders here. I think I'm about the only person that is like constantly streaming this as well at the moment. Constantly, like on a daily basis, just because I enjoy it that much. So I can normally do it right about this time, just because I have a little bit of free time to uh, to do it. Spend like an hour or so just creating different mechs or different color schemes. Hype says Sky Reaper. I know, right? I'm. I want to see what they do with it. I really do. I love my mech games. Absolutely love them because you don't see too many of them. And then when somebody actively puts so much, you know, effort into certain parts of it, and you think, okay, that's cool. And then you see the rest of the gameplay, and it's it's pretty decent. You just think, oh, this is going to be a decent product. I hope it does well. You know, so we can get more stuff like this. My idea behind it is just if there's something good like this that people see and then they decide, you know what, I'll try making something along those lines in future but improve upon it, that means we get better mech games down the line anyway. So I, I want more stuff for competition, that way we're going to get more and we're going to get lots of good games, that's what I'm hoping for. But it is nice seeing stuff like this that's actively doing something new. Because I've not seen a mech game like this go so far with the, uh, just the customization of everything. Not not even Armored Core does this. Armored Core goes a lot into, like, the internals and the weight and everything. Whereas this is, this is primarily focused on, uh, each individual aspect of the mech and how you want to make it look first. Right, let's, let's try and change these parts up and then we'll see if you guys agree with this build. So let's see here. Thing. I'm gonna go with that. I'm broken, Armored Core says Neo RX. <laughs> I think I might be able to keep that like that. I'm not so sure. Could even get away with that, because that looks. Actually, that does a little, look a little bit more accurate. We'll see. looking here at what I can put on for armor. I think that's probably going to be the uh, the closest one. What is going on, people? Is there any chance that this is coming to consoles? Not at the moment. This is just aimed at PC at the moment, but yeah, we're just chilling out and creating different mechs based on Gundam stuff. Let's see here. It's not bulky, it's more streamlined and I'm not sure I want to do that. Although it has more options. That's awkward. Go on, I'll keep it. This, this is going to be awkward for me, but hopefully I can pull this off. Uh, I actually need to see the front armor here. Have we got any screenshots of that? Oh, I see. Let's do that. Let's see whether that works. Kaiser says, I really want to make character action game with this level of customization, but it'll never happen unless a company like Platinum gets it. Yeah. Oh god, Platinum with a mecha game like this. But it plays like Metal Gear Rising. That would be that would be something. Either Metal Gear Rising or Bayonetta. Ah, the difference there is the vents and everything. Well, we'll go for the vents. The way that they look. Currently, the head model reminds me of the uh, Astral Gundam or the Epion Gundam. Yeah. I can see where that's coming from. I mean, I'm trying to uh, do this a certain way. So, see if you guys can guess it. 
if you guys guess it right before I'm done, that'll be awesome. If not, then it's totally fine. Like I said, I'm trying to make this based on a certain design, so... The challenge was to see if I could do something that was a little bit more interesting. Damn, that one... That one's gonna give me some problems, so let's... Let's try that one there, and then... Oh, I, I see. Oh! Right, so let's try... Narrative Apex. No, no, no. Unicorn. We've already had on Unicorn today. Right, let's see here. We did the uh, the full armor unicorn, which was cool. I mean, I should have done the uh, the full psycho frame one, but by Glint, <laughs> with those proportions, I'd certainly see Metabots looking great. Try that one. G Savior. No, I don't know. <laughs> Have you done the Banshee? Banshee Norn, though? No, but I mean, I could go back and do them. Keep that the way that it is. I could go back and just do the, uh, the Banshee if I wanted. It would be pretty easy. This is gonna be interesting because people are gonna have to use their imagination for this, but... Let's make this one a lot different for obvious reasons. This is, you'll probably only get this when we get to the uh, the actual build part. You know, the, uh, the painting and everything, but we'll see. We'll keep going. Ooh, Cole got it. Cole got it. I, uh, I didn't know whether anyone would get it, but, ooh, that was good. Somebody asked, I don't know whether it was Cole asked the last time for this, so I'm going to try it and see what happens. That actually looks pretty cool on that side. Let's see about right side. Right side is slightly different. Is that kit any good? It will be my first Astray kit if I bought it. I'm actually thinking of still getting it, so if you want, wait on it and I'll get it. Because I, I still want it to paint it up. But I don't know how much of a risk it's going to be. Apparently, it doesn't have too much in terms of posability, but... I mean, all you get it for is to look stoic. Let's see here, I'm trying to use my imagination to uh, to work out this other leg here. Maybe... Maybe the pointy one, that one. I love the way we can do this with both feet as well. NeoRx says, I have it, but there's a slight problem. Ooh, doesn't sound good. Wait till I can actually hear what's gone wrong with it. Right, 
Right, so we've got the, the back of the ankles here. I'm going to make these more of a, uh, a pointy thing just to uh, just to go along with the theme. And then the front will make the front two parts the, the pointy bits that it actually has. It's not that one. It's a mixture between either that or that one. I mean, I could go with these, these much larger feet, but I don't think they'd suit it. So I'm going to go with that. Sky Reaper says, I'm taking off. Gonna watch today's episode of Shield Hero. No problem. Hope it's good. Right, so we got we got this for the moment. Let's see if I can paint this up. So first off, we've got the base frame. Which obviously is red. But it's that kind of dull red. So we're gonna take the uh, custom style three. I'm gonna edit the red to be It's dull red, but it's shiny. It's not totally shiny, but it is pretty shiny. Like that. From what I've seen, it's still based off the original red frame. The colors need fixing. The new leg armor impedes posability. Yeah. Or is it just me? Because one of the parts for the beam gun thing is gone, says Neo RX. Ooh. I do love the uh, the uh, the design for it though. It does look cool. Well, let's see here. Right, we got this kind of chrome red going on. It's it's actually a darker one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do number nine and then edit the style here. About that. Then we got the white faceplate. Then the blue eyes. It's not often that you see a Gundam with blue eyes. Let's see if we can get a different thing going on here. Oh. And then around it is like that kind of dark metal color. And for the head unit, we got mainly white. That section there is going to be that dark red that we've seen before. And then we've got the front section here, which is going to be that that clear blue almost. I'm going to do a new style for that instead. Number 10 is that kind of gloss blue. I'm not going to make it too metallic, just a little bit. Because that supplements that bit. And then we've got the other sections, which I'm going to do in a uh, slightly brighter red. Let's try the chrome red. It's kind of hard to tell, though. If I, if I select chrome red do that as a little bit brighter and then you'll be able to tell the difference just a little bit there we go that'll work we got the head there done and then we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of this thing I just need Pull up another image here because it's, it's awkward trying to get screenshots of this thing. Right, the rest of the head is kind of this really dark grey colour, so we'll use the gun metal for it. Number four, we'll do number four is that. Dark. Oh no. That moment where you mess it up just slightly. I can still recover from this. <laughs> that moment where you only want to do the inside of the vents for that colour just to give it a little bit different colour. Then everything goes a little bit crazy. The 
neck is all red. That dark coloured red. So we'll do that. And the torso. Hmm. Getting the torso separation here is going to be a little bit awkward. Because part of it is that dull kind of black. And the rest of it isn't. Let's, let's try and see if we can work this out here. Maybe do the uh, the top part white because I can't do all of this. Well, I can't separate all of it. It's going to be a bit annoying. Let's try highlighting certain sections so far because the color, all of that is fine. Let's do a little bit of that dark red poking through. Wait. There we go. And really, I want number one to be that kind of white gloss color. We'll make it gloss instead of matte because then it's, I mean, gloss instead of <coughs> metallic because metallic is a little bit shinier. Excuse me. Slowly making this work at the moment. See about this. We got the gun metal color. Is there a gym like visor for the heads as raffle? Uh, head parts. I think there might be. Hang on. Yeah, there is. There's like one that looks like it's a mono visor there. And we've got other ones that we can unlock. I'll unlock those for now. Does this game have a shoulder mounted range weapon like the, to the tall geese's dober, uh, dober gun? Not that I know of, but we can get a, uh, a giant cannon. We'll have to use the Titan faces some other time. But we can use the giant cannon to uh, simulate the uh, the arm pieces. That bit on the original is that dark red. Is this Gundam, says Sam. No, but it's very close. Very, very close. This isn't going to be amazingly accurate as I would like it, but we'll try again at the... Yeah, all the details of it will be uh, in the description later on. Try to get the uh, the pictures of the backpack for this frame here. It doesn't really have a backpack, that's the thing. So I'm, I'm going to have to uh, improvise here. Because you can't deselect the backpack from what I know. Hang on. Yeah, it's not as if you can... Oh no, wait. Oh, I can unequip. Okay, that's awesome. That, that means I'm going to have new builds that don't have that then. I didn't actually think that would be possible, but now that makes it a little bit cooler. Because it means that I can actually go ahead and start doing this. So, painting the, the front skirt here, that is all that kind of dark colour. that moment where you're just constantly looking at a load of images online trying to find out how this thing is meant to look because you can't pull it up on your secondary screen. Right, this has a little bit of inner frame showing through. So we'll do that. And then the right hand side doesn't really have anything. It's a shame I can't just unselect that. Is it possible? Oh, it is! Oh, that's, that's even better. This just gets better. I can just unequip armor parts if I want and just save it. Oh, this, this gets so much better. So that means I can take off that side skirt as well that I don't need. Uh, this is just, this is so much better for customization now. 
Rieska armor. I think it's relatively the same. I'll just leave it white. But I will have a little bit of a difference in here. I'll try and put like nickel in there to uh, give it a little bit of color separation. Then we've got the back skirt, which is nothing. And then this side, this side is the uh, the giant arm. Or at least it will be the giant arm. I just need to pull up an image of it here. Right. Can I just take that off? Because that would be really cool if I could. Uh, doesn't look too good without, so we'll just go with. We'll take all these parts and just style them in that color instead. Because it's kind of like that from what I can see. We'll, we'll add a little bit of color separation. What we'll do is we'll We'll add the chrome red on there, give it a little bit of colour separation. The arm below does not have that armour on it by the look of it. It's still weird, I don't feel right having no armour on it there, but like certain parts I do, certain parts I don't. So let's try that again and then we'll highlight certain sections and then the arm here is all that kind of dark black Mix this with a bit of gun metal to give it a little bit of colour in it. And then this arm. This is all black. Up until the uh, the cuff, I think. There's like a highlight of yellow in it. The should be able to pull that off if I go gold. Okay, so that's that's looking okay so far. That's actually looking okay, which I'm surprised about. I just realized I need to do the other arm as well. Uh, this side. This side is fine for the. Uh, especially the shoulder armor. What we will do is have a bit of the inner frame poking through. We'll do some color separation on number three. And number four. Right, and then we got this section here, which is majority white, but we'll take four and two and make those the, uh, the darker parts of the frame again, and then again we've got this kind of thing going on from left to right so what we'll do is we'll go mirror here and we'll mirror that so we got that part there because this part has very similar sections to it but it's not exactly the same what I'm gonna do here is take that copy it over to there and then when I go to the left I can then Paint it up differently. Because, for instance, we need a white part on the outside, so we'll do that. You can quick select elements by pressing 1, 2, 3, 4 on keyboard to Zephyro. Oh, yeah, I know. I remember you saying the last time. I'm just chilling. I'm not in a hurry, so. There we go, so that's a little bit better. 
And then the leg sections, that's... So we got the white there. I need part of the red frame sticking through, but not too much of it. And there and there should do, so if I do that, that's cool. And then the other side, the other side is a little bit different because it has black on the front of it. So we have black there, there, and there mainly. And then down this side, it's just all black on the front. The other side is slightly different because it's all white, but because of how it is, I'm going to try and colour separate here. So we've got, let's just try that, just putting three as, say, nickel. Maybe four as well, three and four is nickel, or even cobalt. titanium right and then for the leg section the lower leg section the back needs to have a little bit of red poking through so we'll do that and have that be the dark red oh crap I selected one as well by accident there now I'm going to go back to white there three was going to be the bit with the, metal, the um, metallic parts poking through the rest we can colour separate here, so we can have like, that be titanium. On the right, again it needs to be black, so we're going to have the majority of this leg being that kind of black colour. And then the rest being the red and white that's poking through, so that if we have two being the, the metallic parts here, we get that kind of frame poking through with the white this is so crazy in terms of a, uh, a challenge to undertake <laughs> I didn't actually think it would take so long to build this thing up, but that's fine there, and then mirror on this side. Again, all we need to do is just call a separate here. And then in terms of the feet, the feet should all be the same. It's kind of, well, it looks like it's dark on the back. And then on the front, it's slightly different. The, uh, the majority of the the foot is the the, uh, the same frame colour. And then you've got the, the white at the sides. So you've got the white at the front here. And then we got a little bit of black there. For how long it's taking, it looks good, says Cole. I'm just trying to get it looking right. So there we go, if I can mirror that. Can we exit that for a moment? Okay, so we'll we'll just screenshot that for the moment. We'll go back into the armor section and we'll look at it. So he's missing a couple of parts, but of course he has to miss those parts. Just taking screenshots of it here. Now we gotta come up with the weapons for it. So we've got the orbital weapons for the Fenix, the, we'll do the uh, the bat parts quickly. Uh, generator. Let's give it that generator instead. Actually, no, we'll give it the uh, standard one and then the socket. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. We'll give it that one instead of that one. Missile pods, it doesn't really have any. It does have a, uh, a well, we'll give it a rifle. And then we need to give it the uh, the big cannon again. So we got the bullet trigger, but what we'll do is we'll attach a normal one on. And have that as 
We'll have his lightning damage. We'll have another one. Just to make sure that we've got enough ammo with us. Did the other one have shock damage? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it did. We'll do, we'll do one fire, one... I mean, one ice, one lightning. And then for the, the weapons, what I'll do is I will take the, the two blades that I did for the blue frame. And we'll edit those slightly. So if I get to the end here, we'll do, we'll try and do a beam saber. We'll do like that for a very long beam saber. And then what we'll do is we'll do, take off the beam glaive, there on the beam javelin. And we'll do the giant one that it has when it, it picks up that giant sword out the floor. I just need to uh, do this up now. So if we... Keep that how it is and go to the end here and go to paint. Select all of that and go down here. Can we? Select style and then we'll just throw that on there so it's slightly different. Then the big sword, the, the giant one that it has from the episode, I can't remember. That was like black and red if it looking at it so what we actually had here was the majority of it was black if I remember rightly and it was the the forward edge here that was red could be wrong about that but that's genuinely how it looked and that has heat damage we got the other stuff and then last but not least we've got the, the bits that it had, which were black, oh crap, and white. We take that and we take the, the front here. And we make that white. Take that with us. Let's see how this goes, shall we? One mission. I think this will be the last build for today. Here we go. This is weird because I've never taken off without a, uh, a backpack before. It'd be better if it had the uh, the bits on its shoulder, but it'll work. The thing is, it doesn't have the, uh, the boost effect either, so that's pretty weird. Oh, we got we have the uh, the rifle, and then we got the giant sword that it had, which has flame damage. The, uh, the bits to attack it there. Get to the next area. I do like this giant red and black sword that it's got. Pretty cool. Oh, you don't do any damage when it's first spawning in. Oh. Skimming around here and just doing loads of damage. It's a pretty basic build, but it's okay. And then if we want, we can use the... Uh, the cannon as well, which it uses in its other arm. I suppose it's about right. Especially when you look at the color scheme. Especially because it uses it on that side as well. 
I actually like it when it's not got the, uh, the backpack on because it's all kind of stealthy. As in, like, it just doesn't make those sound effects that it had before. The thing is, normally I go through this bit with the, uh, the other weapons to allow me to pick off things, so I'm gonna have to use the, uh, the cannons here to my advantage. Normally these don't have much ammo in them. I have to make a, uh, a switch out between cannon and sword. Lightning runs. Oh, where are you? Get some extra power cells here. Oh, oh, oh. bit of frame rate like that. Don't know why either. Find me because of those things that are getting destroyed in the background, the uh, bits of scenery. Still trying to figure out what actually sets that off. Oh, out of ammo, out of ammo. Come on. Keep switching between souls to see which one does the most damage. That one does like 300 and 300 there. Uh... See if I can get a, uh, a good ending shot here with it. Sort of like mid swing. Four, three, two, one, like... Ah! Oh, I've ordered like a really cool ending shot of it just like between, but that's just as it finishes one. Still not too bad, that. It's actually pretty good. Right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. That's another three Gundam frames done. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!